Well, hello, fish and friends. It's good to see y'all. Although I am a little sad because another Outer Banks trip has come to an end. Allison and the boys are actually headed back to Philly right now. And I am here in Southern Shores. I'm literally on my way back to Philly. I'm gonna fish for a little bit, then jump in the truck and drive the six hours back. And hopefully the bite will be good because I really don't have long at all to fish. And of course, it just started sprinkling as I got here. So that's just perfect for camera and audio stuff. Okay, little minnow, make me proud. I found a spot that's kind of under a tree here, so it's a little on the dry side. I've got lines in the water. I've got three ultralight poles, all have little minnows on them. It's the same setup as I used a couple videos back. I'm just really hoping there's a bite because number one, it's not good for content if there isn't. And number two, I really don't have much time. So wish me luck. Let's see if we can get a couple of fish up here and then get back to Philadelphia. Okay, at this point, it's just a waiting game. I'm just looking at the three bobbers here. I'm wanting to see some movement. The bite doesn't seem to be real aggressive. You'll see the bobber just start to slowly move and then eventually it will go underwater rather than just like a quick hit like that typically. That's kind of how the bite is. I don't know if that's just how it normally is at this location or it's just that I fish this when it's really cold water temps. Looks like there could be some movement from this one here. Very subtle, but let's get ready. I'm not overly optimistic. It does not appear to be a fish. All right, let's cast this out near the dock here. Oh, sort of near the dock. Okay, that one has some movement on it. Okay, 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 okay. I think we got something here, guys. And the movement stopped. Darn. Come on, one of you guys. Okay, I have now moved all the way back down to the canal to where I fished a couple of videos ago. And we're gonna give it a little more time here. All right, oh man. Oh. The one thing I haven't done yet is the go back to the truck to get your phone move because that is also the trick to when you leave for two seconds to go back to your truck, you'll get a fish on. So let's go see if that works. And I still see three bobbers in the water. <clears throat> this one's sideways. Oh, it's not bad enough that I'm ending a nice trip to the Outer Banks and that it's raining, but to be ending that on a skunk is like insult to injury. Okay, folks, we're really down to the home stretch here. I got to get back in the truck and get back to Philadelphia. I'm going to start loading my stuff in the truck as sort of a last ditch effort to hopefully entice a bite. Besides, there's people right across the canal that are sitting there thinking I'm crazy for talking to myself. So let me just get the camera back in the truck and hopefully one of those bobbers will be under the water when I get back. One, two, three bobbers. Dang, nabbit. I see one bobber. I see two bobbers. I see three bobbers. Well, I managed to catch a stick fish. I guess that means I technically didn't get skunked, right? Uh, that was a bit of a bummer. I was hoping to end this trip on a good note and catch some fish, but it didn't go that way. The good news is that this gives me an excuse to come back again to this location and avenge my skunk. And I'm also excited to get home and see the family. We had a wonderful time here in the Outer Banks and I feel really recharged. I'm looking forward to getting back to work. Plus, today my Philadelphia Eagles play the Miami Dolphins. And no offense to our friend Tim School of Fish, but if there's any game the Eagles should win, it's today's game against the Dolphins. And as bad as this season has been, I actually think there's a good chance we could win the division because the Cowboys are a total dumpster fire. How good we're going to do in the playoffs? Mm, as At this point, I'm not really sure. But playoff football is better than no playoff football, I'll tell you that. Okay, let me get home and I'll wrap things up with you in Philadelphia. And I'm back in Philadelphia. But the Eagles are about to lose. Here, let me come over here closer so we can all experience this fun, the fun together. We have eight seconds left, dude. So we have to get 75 yards in eight seconds. 
Oh no, we're at the 32. So that's that's probably pretty easy. We'll have, probably have two plays here, right? Incomplete. No, they, oh, so we made a catch. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> so we have two seconds that left was on the clock. Cool, yeah, that was it. Was it was a great it was a good catch, very good catch. Now now, now you're gonna get a hail mary. Oh. Two seconds. Come on. We still might win though. Well, yeah. If we if we make the, if we throw hail mary and score the touchdown, we would tie it. Here we go, hail mary time. Intercepted. Okay, so like I was saying to Tim's School of Fish, I guarantee your Miami Dolphins are going to win this game. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is seriously the best day ever. All right, gang, thanks for watching. We're going to try to come up with a better video for y'all next time. Because <laughs> it can't get any worse than this, right? Skunk into vacation, Eagles loss. Peace out, we'll see you soon. GoPro audio test, GoPro audio test, one, two, three. GoPro, are you working today? Okay, let's try this. Let me go pee, because every single time I go pee, I get a fish on. Footage of me sitting in the rain catching nothing. Guaranteed to get tons of likes and views. Miami's one of the worst teams in football. Look at this thing, and I doubled up. Oh my gosh, this is fun. This is insane. Fish after fish after fish, it was nuts.